Well, hello, everybody, whoever you are. I'm instructed to uh, answer a series of questions about posters. I usually design posters. Uh, when I'm assigned a poster by an agency or by an institution in order to convey information about an event or an attitude, what it means to me is a little more complex to discern. It means an opportunity to work on a large surface because one of the benefits of, uh, of working on a poster is that it is significantly larger than most of the things you're ever asked to work on in the graphic arts field. So it gives you uh, an area to work on that's more like a painting and, and such and allows for a little more graphic exploration very often kind of a general question. I would say memorability, which means you can remember it. Uh, clarity and curiously, mystery at the same time. Clarity, ambiguity, mystery, all in some kind of relationship to one another. If things are too clear, they become uninteresting. If they're too obscure, they become unread. So you have to somehow, in all graphic arts problems, reconcile the issue of clarity and complication and contradiction. And um, I would say in this case, what makes a good poster is your ability to become interested in it. Uh, the third question is, what is the poster, uh, what's its importance in the world today or its role in the world today? And I really don't know. I would sus suspect that it is to some extent marginal, other methods of communication have become more significant and more powerful. Certainly the electronic world is uh, much more uh, influential than any poster that is posted anywhere. Uh, nevertheless, every once in a while an image is created that can only be done on a flat surface simply and graphically and that seems to enter into people's consciousness as well. But to evaluate its role in the world today, far beyond my capacity. What is my typical design process for making a poster? People are always asking me, what is my design process? And I don't know what to answer to that. Usually I just go and do it. I mean, uh, the way you do your work is by beginning. So you take a sheet of paper out and you begin to draw. There's no great mystery to that, except before you come to that, your mind is already inadvertently or independently has begun to consider that what the problem is going to be. So when you begin to actually work on paper or scribble something, the mind has already been dealing with the issue before you are even conscious of starting. Uh, there's a profound issue there that is not easily reduced to words. So the way I uh, begin is to begin. You know, I don't know. I don't have favorite things. I don't like fish cakes any more than I like corn. I don't like things uh, isolated from their context. I don't have any ideal vision of anything. So when people ask me for my favorite, I, uh, there are too many things to love in this world to isolate your interest in a single one of them. So I'm afraid I can't answer that question. I, there are thousands of posters I adore certainly to different degrees of adoration, but I can't isolate one for you. Well, consider what you want to become. I mean, why parochialize yourself to become a poster designer? Design is a big, uh, almost endless activity, and to choose a particular piece of it seems small-minded. You should do posters because they're part of an entire universe of options that you have as a designer. And one of the more interesting ones because of the scale and their relationship to 
the world of graphic material and the world of art. But to isolate your activity to the world of posters, well, I don't think I would do that. Um, and I wouldn't advise a student to do that. Sorry for that answer. Thanks for being here with me.